Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, instead of playing some horror games, we're actually going to be returning to a disturbing series called the Mandela Catalog. Now, I don't know if you're new here or an OG, but way back at the start of my channel, I started watching some disturbing content and reacting to it for you guys. One of the series that really got me loving horror was Analog Horror. And it was a series called The Mandela Catalog. Now, I have missed a couple, so I don't know if they're the main thing to the storyline. But we're going to be reacting today to The Mandela Catalog Volume 4. So, let's dive in. Oh, man, I forgot how scary these can be. In the beginning, the earth was created without form. As a spirit hovered over the face of the waters. Uh-huh. Light was created first. Then the light. light was divided by darkness. Huh? The light would be called day, and the darkness would be called night. On the second day, the spirit created the skies above and the water below. The great firmament was created to divide the waters. The evening to the morning was the second day. The water below was separated from dry land, where a diverse arrangement of plants were grown. Oh. The mass of water would be called the sea. The land would be called Earth. What was that over there? Wait, 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 wait. Shh, shh, shh. First of all, I need to make sure these are pumped up. Because my man is whispering to me. Second of all, we've got to turn on those captions. There we go. So we know what's uh, being said. And third of all, we need to rewind. Because there was some creepy things that just occurred there. Land. There. There, what is this? There's a guy over there. Spooky. Would be called. A grand array of stars and planets filled the emptiness of the night sky. The sun and moon were created to give life to day and night. This guy's giving us a whole lesson on life. Several creatures were created to inhabit the sea sky. Hey, that looks familiar. Is that is that the Windows screensaver? Sky and land. The creatures would multiply, and soon the earth was filled with these creatures. On the sixth day, a man was created from the dust of the ground, mm -hmm. followed by a woman to keep him company. Adam and Eve. Each other very much, and happiness was felt for the first time. Aww. They would gaze up at the stars that night before falling into a deep, graceful slumber. Yeah? Huh? What does that say? Awaken, my son. Huh? What am I looking at? What is that? Apple? This night was different than the last. Why? The woman would gaze up at the sky, but the brilliance and beauty of the stars were obscured by the man. Staring down at her, the woman was afraid. Not only has this old technology been easier to use, for me and my family feel a lot safer with it now. This is Dave from Mandela Tech. How may I help you? Hey, Dave, it's O'Brien. Oh, how's it going, man? It's been a while. No, well, you know. Same old, same old. Yeah, I feel you. How'd that church kid go? Oh, it was great. Got the whole congregation out of their seats during the last performance. Felt empowering, you know? According to the other band members, that's never happened before. Made me feel real special. That's great, dude. Happy to hear it. Yeah, man. Enough about me, though. How have you been holding up? I don't know. Uh, you know how it is. What the hell is I'm this? Local businesses haven't really been doing so hot recently. <sighs> that's rough, man. I I'm sorry to hear that. Wait, what? That's alright. I'll find it. This is like a very different style to what I'm used to for the other Mandela catalogs. What have I missed? Around it sooner or later, right? Tell you what, if you end up having to shut down, I can vouch for you to get a position here. They'll pay you much better than whatever the hell you're making down there. 
I'm not a man of God or wrath. Hey, no worries. You don't need to be a believer. You can always let me know if you change your mind. Well, I, I gotta get running. Got rehearsal at 8. I'll talk to you soon, alright? Hey, thief! Property of Dave. Hands off. Um, unless you're not Dave, you, I don't know if you should be watching this. Toddler stress assessment video. Record your child's response to the following media. Alright. What is that? I love the way these are shot, by the way. I have to just say. And now they're using real people. It's interesting. Wednesday at 6 p.m. at the St. John Library. Thanks for listening, and don't forget to bring your paintbrushes. Hmm? Thank you very much, Lola. Our next student comes from our very own Bythorn High. Please welcome Sarah. Hello. I am Sarah Heathcliff, Ghost founder Hunter. of the Paranormal Club at Bythorn High School. Uh oh I look to do some private investigations and help some people out from the surrounding areas. I'm currently looking for a work partner to pursue this line of work with. Don't worry about having any experience or anything. I'm also a beginner. You can contact me with the email shown on screen now. I look forward to hearing back from someone. Thanks for listening. Okay. Sarah. Currently at large? Wait, what? What did she do? Hey Sarah, I saw your video. I'd like to join you with your investigation stuff since I think that sounds pretty cool. I go to Workshaw High School, but I hope that's not too much of an issue. Also, I grew up in Mandela, so I have some ideas of places that we can explore. Nice. Up to you, though. Hope to hear back from you. Who was that, Adam? Currently at large. So he was hired. Wait, does at large mean they're missing, or or, the, or are they wanted? Like, what, what's that about? What's that about? Everyone welcome Adam, the newest member. Okay, so yeah, he was added to the... Uh, the list. Hello, everybody. Me and my friend Adam are excited to announce that we have recently founded the Bythorn Paranormal Society. Whoa! Yep, society! You heard that right. We are now expanding its surrounding areas. And we don't mind traveling a little bit if we need to. There is nothing that will scare us away. Just give us a call. Okay. Breaking plus entering event 01. This will be fine. I promise. Imagine the reactions from this. This will be great. And I know the perfect... 1407. There's no way this place was abandoned, Adam. Shh. Okay. Ready to get your mind blown? Uh... Look down that hallway, Sarah. Look at it. And don't look away. I'm looking. Okay, all set. Now press play. What the fuck is this? Shh, shh, shh. Just watch. Oh! Look, Sarah, look at it. 
What are you doing? No. Adam, please. It's right there, Sarah. Look. Ah! There! What's going on? What's that? Don't you want to see? I can't look. Please. It's literally looking at us, Sarah. Hands! Oh my god, okay, that's scary. I like that. Nice. Don't worry. We got it on video. You can look at it whenever you're ready. You've got a crazy good shot, Sarah. No. I'm not doing that ever again. What? She's the one that founded the whole thing. Now she's been a little bit of a pussy. -o? Damn it, man. You're kidding. I just need time, alright? If you're gonna keep doing these with someone, then you need someone else. I'll do everything else, I guess. Two years later. The call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey Sarah, it's Adam. I'm on the way back. We got some pretty good material that I think you'll be pretty psyched about. So, uh, yeah, see you soon. Okay. Uh, you can talk. You gotta try 25 milligrams next time, bro. What does FS2 even stand for? Fuck you, you'll get what you're coming for. Alright, Amanda. John Marshall's being removed. Okay. Can I at least have some closure, Adam? Who's evil? Got to go to work. Please respond while I'm gone. Wait, well, I'm not bailing you out when the cops find you. They won't. They're all bark and no bite. Mm -hmm. Cops. Why are the cops involved? No, I've been busy. How did the visit go? Do you want good or bad news first? Oh, God. What did Adam get up to? Great, there's bad news. Jonah bailed, and I don't know what happened. Oh. And I'm pretty sure he's dead or something. What happened to Jonah? Okay, wait. Let me say the good news. What is the good news? He got some good footage or something? Absolutely not. Call me now. Oh, Sarah is pissed. Look at Sarah's profile picture. That alone is just scary. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Adam? Eventually someone will stumble across that. You just drove off? Didn't really think it would be that big of a deal. What? Put yourself in my shoes for a second. I just got done walking for miles in the cold, alright? Would you expect me not to take the car? What the hell has gotten into you? Adam. Got some killer footage, though. Hey! I don't give a shit about the footage until you sort yourself out. Content, man. Crazy how I feel more sympathy towards someone I hardly knew than you. He was your best friend. No, he wasn't my best friend. I was his best friend. Oh, Adam I is... I don't have friends. We oh have God. to tell our viewers, you know. We? I think you mean you. You're the one that handles the online stuff. No, you. This is all your fault, Adam. Hey, Adam's a loose we cannon. We need this footage. I don't care how good it is. Can we see the footage? Why don't you make a memorial video for the only person that ever cared about you? The viewers will start suspecting things sooner or later. 
I thought you were better than that. Oh! Adam's had enough. That's it. No wonder Evelyn left you. Oh, that's going to cut him deep. Listen, one thing you don't do is, is make a psychopath mad. What's this? The Mandela County Population Trend Report? Oh, dear. 17 years and counting. Huh? Fear dwelling in the bottom of my stomach eats away at me like a cancer. Is that Adam? The bellowing of broken parents. The cries of sisters asking where their brothers went. All drowned out by the humming of fluorescent lights. Missing person supports stacked on top of each other like a mountain of grief. Part of me thinks if I lit a match and tossed it, their souls would find their final resting place. Uh -huh. Weaver, my guardian angel, in a sense. I threw her to the flames in an act of self-preservation. Her photo plastered in the lobby, almost like a reminder of what I did. At the same time, I feel anger. I feel vengeful. Yep. I feel pain. Expected. I'll make you proud, Ruth. Who's Ruth? The darkness followed me home, Weaver. I left. I couldn't cut it. I shut myself in. But something else was there with me. Nobody's there to call you crazy. Would you ever find out? Huh? What the hell is that? Nah, 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 nah. What the hell is that? That's like a face. Someone watching from the closet. Oh, hey, nah, he definitely saw that. Nah, I'd be gone. Oh my god, look. Oh! Oh my god, I can barely make it out. It's so good. Huh? Oh. Oh no, I don't like that. I don't like that. Oh. You're just gonna have to take my word for it. You're firing me? No, 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 no. I'm not firing you. Uh, you remember our last good day? Yeah, me either. Dave, please. Is there anything else I can do? I, I'll gladly do longer shifts. You don't even have to pay me anything extra. This is all I have. Please? Look, I have a good friend that used to work at the police station. I'll put in a good word for you, alright? I appreciate your loyalty so much, Evelyn. It's been a good run. Evelyn? Bye -bye. Dave, wait. What's with the closet? Huh? The old TV? Why do you still- don't ask questions. Hey, O'Brien. I think it's about time that I take you up on your offer. What offer? Doing some dodgy deals. Remembrance. This is Lieutenant Patrick Davis. Seems like I made a mistake. 
Oh. Everything's clear here at the station. Calling off all units. Over. Oh my god, that's so cool. And creepy. I love Afraid it. Of your own reflection, Lieutenant. Dead or alive, you're no use to these people. Oh my god, the way it whispered. A man without a purpose. If you're wearing headphones right now, then you know that the guy is talking in one ear and then talking into the other. If you're not wearing headphones, do it right now. In a world that doesn't need him. A scared boy with a gun. Oh my god. Sound familiar? Dear Ruth, I know you can't read this letter, so I guess this is more for my peace of mind. Writing letters to dead people. I miss you a lot, man. <laughs> I like to think that you're watching me somehow, making fun of me while I write you this fucking letter. But I'm always greeted by that same invasive silence. I keep driving by the house like uh, I'm going to get over it somehow, you know? but it hasn't gotten easier. There's a lot of movies and music that you missed. I wish I could show it to you just one more time. Because the reality is, Ruth, I don't think I'm going to find another friend like you again. And every day it hurts. It hurts so bad. And now you're dead because I was too fucking scared. I was too fucking scared. I'm so sorry. You deserve better, Weaver. You really did. Wait, what? So, how did they die? Are you almost done with the video? Sure. Okay. This is stupid. Uploading this makes it more dramatic than it needs to be. Don't care. Your fault. Your PR this time. Whatever. Oh my god, what kind of video is this? Is he memeing it? Celebration of life. Image error. <laughs> Wait, what? Nice. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm not in the mood for joking around. Get this done. I sent the wrong file. G. Chill out. Come on, Adam, mate. Oh, here we go. The actual one. It better be the actual one. It yes. is with heavy hearts that we announce the passing of Jonah Marshall, a recent member of the Bythorn Paranormal Society. Oh. Jonah was beloved by many of our viewers, and for good reason. He brought a positive energy to an otherwise serious organization. We couldn't be more saddened by the passing of such a pure soul. Jonah passed away peacefully, surrounded by his loved ones. Oh, jeez. What the hell is this? Ah!
Nah, nah, nah. If I had a program that opened up like that with that kind of melody, I'm shutting that shit down instantly. What the hell? Welcome to Face Studio 2, a revolutionary software that can make your face say anything you want, at the touch of a button. All we need from you is your personal details and three photos of your face, demonstrated on screen now. Oh my god. Oh. Once we have your photos, we will be able to save your facial profile to our database. We will never share your data. Once the upload is complete, you can type in anything that you want your face of choice to say. A new feature with Face Studio 2 is the ability to customize your face even further. Ah! We got lost one! Several faces can be saved onto Face Studio 2, creating magical fun for everyone. Magical fun, yeah? It's truly a wonder that digital technology has come and saved us all. Make sure to spread the word to your family and friends about the new and improved Face Studio 2, available for free on most personal computers. Do your part in creating a better real. Nah, nah, nah. Look, that shit's cursed. Jeez. What the hell? Why is there a is someone there? Who's this, Sarah? Mr. Davis, are you here? Look, if no one's home, go away. Mm. 
Yeah. Uh, hey, Fetcher. Um, I've got some news for you. <laughs> what? You know, I mean, I just think it's time that I move on. Okay, move on with what? Why are you being so cryptic? I just think, I just think that I finally found peace. This isn't what I'm supposed to be doing. <laughs> okay. So, so we're done. Just like that. the shit you do for me. How much of that was really worth it, though? If you would have just given up already, maybe you could find peace as well. Think about how much time you've wasted trying to solve these cases. You need to learn how to accept things that you can't change. From 17 years ago, might I add. Find a new meaning in life, Davis. Um... Damn, damn, damn! What's she gonna do? Just wait there the whole time? Oh, it's got a key in there. Here she goes. Let's snoop around. Archives. Yeah, what you would have gone there. Hey, I just got here. Uh, could you unlock the front door, perhaps? Yo, you're at the front. Uh, yep. I'm at the front of the building. <laughs> it looks so funny. Perfect. We'll be right there. Stay still. It just looks so odd and weird, but it kind of fits it. It's a strange vibe. Oh, all of a sudden the wind stopped. Oh. It's Jesus! He's coming through! Oh. Oh. 
Well, Dave is dead. Sorry. Adam did not react to any audio or visuals. Wait, so he wasn't actually possessed. Result of the recent phenomenon. Wait, so he was blaming it on the voices and everything. Oh dear. Mr. Davis? Get out! Get out! What is that? Who saw that hand? Huh? Did you edit all that in? Hello, we have been trying to contact Adam. Adam Murray, is this you? Please confirm yes or no. What's he gonna say? Say no! Say no! Please confirm yes! Ah! The profile changed. Adam, who are you talking to? You need to call me back now. I don't know what's going on. Please don't make me have to worry about you. Oh dear. Sarah, love. Please call me back. It's over. Please. Let's just say you don't have to worry about Adam anymore. I deceived him. The Mandela Prophet. We have their prayers. And their records. It begins today. There we go. Wow, another amazing Mandela catalog, Alex. 
That was really cool. Damn, man, I felt like I just watched a movie. That was so good. Like, sometimes, obviously, I don't have a, a scooby-doo of what's going on, but I just enjoy it. I just enjoy the atmosphere. I enjoy the vibe that it gives off. It's really enjoyable to watch. Of course, I will link the full video down below, giving credit to Alex himself, the guy that created all these. Do check him out. He makes amazing analog horror stuff. It's so cool. Uh, it's so weird, and I love it, so maybe you will too. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you slap a like on it, and also, if you're new here, consider subscribing. It's free. Go down below, check it, click it. Bam, bam, bam. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in another video. Bye.